I feel bad for criticising a game that's so old, but I've still taken the liberty of telling you guys the good and bad points. So in this game you have a variety of skills for each class, and the way you manage your abilities is very subpar. You can assign any of the F keys, F1, F2, F3, F4, blah blah blah, to a spell, and then you press it, and it will become that active spell. You left click to do the action that you can see in the bottom left of the screen, which right now is an arrow, which is a normal attack. In the bottom right of the screen, that is the special ability, and you have to right click to perform that. Sometimes you can put an ability on the left click. More often than not, it has to go on the right click. And changing through the skills is very awkward sometimes. So I'm very glad that World of Warcraft implemented a skills bar and you could just press the key to actually do the ability. So I'm going to take this time to explain to you about the user interface while there's generally not anything of great importance happening on the screen. So basically, in the bottom left, you have an angel holding your bowl of blood, which is basically your health bar. In the bottom right, you have something else, which looks like the devil, I don't know why, um, holding your bowl of mana, which is obviously your mana counter. Then in the bottom left, right next to the health bar, you have your left click ability, which is usually always your normal attack. Then you might see a little box with a little cross inside. That box is for when you level up. When you level up it will glow red, and that means you can assign five new skill points to four different areas. Dexterity, Vitality, Energy, and Strength. The thick yellow bar you see with the running man next to it is your stamina. That depicts how long you can actually run around for with um, you know, full running speed. Once that's depleted, you have to walk until it fills back up again. And then you can start using it just as you would if it was full. The smaller white bar above it is your experience bar. So basically when you kill monsters, and sometimes when you complete quests, you get experience points that add up to that bar. Once it fills up, you level up, and that lets you choose new skills and new abilities. As you gain higher levels, it takes more experience points to fill that bar up. You then have your quick action bar, where you have four slots assigned to 1, 2, 3 and 4 on the keyboard. You press them, and it will use that item. 99% of the time, these slots are used for potions. As you can see, I've got a healing potion, a healing potion, another healing potion, and then a mana potion. Just above those, there's four more slots, which you can add in. So for example, the slot above number one, you can add another potion in there, so that when you use up number one, it's automatically refilled with that potion that you put in the slot above, if that makes any sense. Also, they take out anything from your inv inventory, so if you put a potion there, it's not there and also taking up a space in your inventory, which is also useful for, well, considering the amount of times your inventory is actually full on this game. Then you have the another box with a cross in, which is a new skill, which also glows red once you level up. This basically just lets you choose a new skill. Each, each class has three... or is it four? It's three. Three, right? Yeah. Three trees, which is just like World of Warcraft, I know, um, and they differ. They differ a lot. 
comparing to each class. So like obviously the sorceress has three magic trees and the barbarian has sort of three different trees to do with fighting people. And then you have your special ability which is the right click ability. That was probably the worst explanation of the user interface for Diablo 2 you've ever heard, but I tried. The reason I have that blue globe over my head right now is because I use something called a shrine. A shrine is a object in the world which is distinct from the rest of it, which lets you click on it and gain a certain advantage for a certain amount of time. They range from giving you extra strength, extra experience gain when you kill monsters, giving you extra skill, I'm not sure what that does to be honest, or just making you pwn people quicker. Whatever makes your clock tick. So as you can see I've just leveled up. Congratulations! That gives me the five new skill points I was talking about, which I'm applying now. Did it with such finesse. And of course I can also select my new skill or ability which I've already done. I can't care anymore. Overburdened. I can't carry any more. So right now I'm searching for the Tree of Infamous and it's guarded by these brutes and this brute running over to me sort of told me where it was but he obviously led me into Treehead Woodfist which is a unique guy, pretty strong as well. I just thought I'd kill his minions off first and then destroy him. Now I've cleared the area, I'm going to use the tree like it's an object. This tree is one of a kind. I am overburdened. They could have rolled the scroll up so it only took out one space, just like the scroll of identify, but no, keep it open, take up four slots. So one of the cool things about Diablo 2 is you get these things called scrolls of town portal, which let you open a portal, go back to your town, do whatever you want, and if you so choose, take the portal back. It's also very helpful for co-op as well, because if your partner dies, you can open a portal, they will see the portal in the camp, and as long as you're in the same party, they can use it, coming straight back to you. Who needs buses and trains? We've got scrolls of town portal. 